Just Shapes and Beats was something I was so excited to play and then was supremely let down. To give a quick overview, Just Shapes and Beats is a rhythm action bullet hell that features a bunch of stages, a paper thin story that's definitely not the Sonic storyline, and a bunch of missed opportunities. Gameplay is similar to a shmup or top down shooter where you control a ship, or in this case, a shape, on a 2D plane. You avoid projectiles and danger zones and try to last until the end to continue on and repeat the same thing until it eventually teases you with what could have been a good game, but then it ends. I'm going to say this right off the bat. I don't understand anyone who classifies this as a rhythm game. This is by far the biggest reason I was disappointed with this whole experience and the most infuriating part about all of this in general. Hot take of 2021, music games should have the player play to the music. And don't try to tell me, well, it's not really a music game. It says rhythm game right here on Steam. Remove this. This is wrong. Rhythm games generally work on the simple principle that you're supposed to do something to a beat. Taiko no Tatsujin, Beat Saber, or any dance game all have the player perform an action to the time of a song. Most importantly though, there are consequences to not following the notes being played. Most games have a simple scoring system to let you know how well you performed, while some games can be a bit more granular, but overall the idea is to be on beat or else you don't perform as well. Some newer music games have expanded on this concept by not penalizing per se, but by incentivizing playing with the music as much as possible. Crypt of the Necro Dancer is a game that takes dungeon crawling and merges it with the movement of the notes of the music. You can only perform actions on the cadence of the song and you get bonuses for not missing any beats. It's a reward system for playing with the melody. The problem for just shapes and beats comes in the fact that there's no incentive nor penalty for ignoring the soundtrack. There's huge sections of stages or even boss fights where you can sit perfectly still and the stage kind of just passes you by. This is real gameplay of the first boss. I've been sitting in the same place for 25 seconds without being hit. Can you imagine any other music game where you can just sit in place for 25 seconds and not be docked any points for any reason? Sure, you could time every dash to perfect harmony, but there's no reason to do that. There's no points or grade, but mainly, there's no time in anything and therefore no downside for ignoring the tempo of the music. There is almost no input from the player that needs to pay any heed to what the song is doing at the time, but instead you're supposed to memorize exactly how the obstacles appear on screen. This gripe might sound counterintuitive, considering that most music games have you perform the same actions in the same way over and over. Note charts for dance games or tabs for things like Guitar Hero are always in the same position, so it makes sense that this should be the case for a music-based bullet hell as well. There are even plenty of shmups that have predictable and repeatable patterns. So why is this a problem this time? I think it's because it's just such a huge missed opportunity. This game had so much more to give, and it shows in the levels of Try This by Pegboard Nerds and Till It's Over by Tristam. These two zones are the only ones that feel like it takes the player input and the notes of the song and tries to mash them together. Try This contains constantly floating danger zones that damage you if you're in range when the notes go off. Now, this may sound similar to earlier levels, but they contrast early sections by having the danger zones be consistent markers and the level be constrained far more than others in terms of where you have to move around. This gives a nice spatial relation to your shape and the level design. It feels like platforming versus floating around in nothingness hoping some pink won't appear. The second stage, Till It's Over by Tristam, is actually the last stage of the whole game, and boy is this what the game needed more of in general. Your shape goes supersonic and now you shoot a laser beam every fourth quarter note. This is awesome! You do something to the music! If you don't move in place at the right time, you don't get to do significant damage to the boss like a penalty. It's merging your shape moving through bullet hell with the beats of the- Hey, like the name, get it? It's still a bit of a letdown since you're invincible, so there's no consequence for getting hit or being bad at everything you were getting better at this entire time. But it shows that someone out there tried to get this game to actually pay attention to the awesome soundtrack it had on hand. The majority of these levels feels very samey until the end when these two stages pop up, and it's honestly such a shame. I feel the game would have done a lot better with more levels similar to Try This Until It's Over, minus the invincibility, but also by adding a more procedural approach to levels. Revamping the game with dynamic sections instead of plotted out paths allows people to be more immersed in the music since knowing the song would help you with how the obstacles will appear. By not having a grading system or bonus points for on-beat timing means replayability drops immensely. Someone is about to type out multiplayer has grades, but that makes less sense to me in general because it can't make up its mind on if it's competitive or co-op. You can resurrect shapes if they take too much damage, but players each get individual grades at the end of the level. You even get bonus points for resurrecting other players. Do you want your team to die or not? I think multiplayer grades should be like a group project and everyone gets the same. This makes people want to work together instead of competing for individual scores. I really wanted to like this game, but I am just so soured on what I think could have been so much more fun. 
Stagnant levels could have been given so much life with procedural routes, and bosses could have been so much more engaging with attacks or actions that required the player to bob and weave to the soundtrack. I think as a whole, the game is a mediocre bullet hell with an amazing soundtrack, but it's definitely not a rhythm game. Hey there, and thanks for watching the video. I hope to put out more content like this in the future, so if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. I know you hear that all the time, but it's definitely the lifeblood of Heavily Data channel. Also, if you want to hear me yell about video games live, then check me out at twitch.tv slash Yes, I'm a VTuber, so if you're not into anime, well, you're on the wrong side of history.